You're not ready for that yet. The tribes need someone to unite them. See that plastic scrap over there? Can you navigate by starshine? <laughs> Heads up, that's the Blimp Station, home of the notorious Lobo. What a mess that notice board is. So many hopes lost, all long forgotten. I'll bet if you poke around here, you'll find Lobo working on her gull blimp. Passengers used to board and leave blimps here up until they couldn't see through the smog anymore. It's not the flying that kills you, it's when you land wrong. Keep your eyes open and you might find a new track around here. Maybe even learn a thing or two. Let's see.
Lama, Parip. Duma laka peku, alama kumf. Lobs ain't the easiest tongue, but at least Lobo's peppy and seems happy to see you. You might remember her from the old days when she let you ride the wind in her gull blimp. She believes you are so righteous as a child and can still feel it even from where she is standing. She can sense you're still catching up with your own story or at least your part in it and she wants you to know that friends can help you add context to that tale and find the meaning in it. She's curious about what you've done all these years. You must have been through lots out there on the other side of the wall. Lobo says memories are your personal history. You filter them not through who you were, but who you are now. She knows you're back to take on Lupa Lupin. That's your history colliding with your present to help you forge your future. She's affected that even if that disaster knocked the air right out of you, you never let that stop you. You caught your breath and stood back up again. It's important you don't let your history determine your course of action. She suggests you choose your own horizons. Lobo surprised by that. She herself would never forgive a wrongdoing like that. Lobo says the gull blimper had the wind knocked out, so she needs a new push gas can to get it back up in the sky. There's a Franken dog from before the Longon still out there somewhere, and mechanines like that are motored with gas. If you could find the Franken dog and lead it back to her, she'll be able to drain gas from its container and huff up the gull blimp. She saw one in the Sparkatorium. When a story comes to you, pay attention. Thinks you must be up to something vital to be wandering around in the dark.
You seem to have made a new friend. Got to be frank with you, a building like this doesn't come across as a doghouse, but it is. Looks like the cables need to be re-plugged in steps to match each sequence in order to generate a buzz strong enough to make things happen. Nice. That rearrangement should be enough to let enough electric current pass through the board. Every day is a new chance to fulfill your destiny. This mount has quite a bounce to it.
good ridey beast. No hurty. Glad to see some wood scrap there. You've reached the end of the line. Bet you can find Choo Choo here. Time to ride. Suppose even monsters have to sleep somewhere. With the push gas can in place, the gull blimper is ready to go all the way up, but it'll also need to come back down.
Lama Diko, the Pertoka Zamak Shore. Lobo likes to chit chat. Zamak Shore says, Sure, Wiz is a little wacky, but that's no reason to avoid him. Think, Kapatipa. Thanks to you, the Jagni tribe has grown stronger. Understands completely. Lobo likes to chit chat. Wishes you'd been better as a kid, but he's glad you finally figured it out. The tree looks amazing, especially for its age, but will it stay that way? Says goodbye to you. Lobo likes to chit chat. Says you're welcome back. She says that with fresh push gas, you'll need a heavier tie-down to anchor the gull blimper. Lobo says she spotted a vessel on the surf when riding the sky last, and from the look of it, it had a heavy tie-down weighing it down. You should return as soon as you've retrieved the... She recalls it was near home, so you should be able to find it there somewhere. 